Thank you so much for uh, letting me speak today and tell you who I am and what I'm about. I kind of tell jokes sometimes to bring back a little humor because it does seem dim at times. And I'm reminded of a story of a, a fellow, some of you have heard me tell this story, and I'm going to be real brief. My dad's an evangelist, and I tell him if he keeps his sermons under 10 minutes, he'll always do a good job. So I'm going to be real brief. But about a horse, about a fellow one day, he's driving down the road, his car quits, and he coasts over the side of the road, and he gets out, pops the hood, and he's looking under the hood to try to figure out what the problem is. And as he's looking, a horse comes by the car, and as the horse comes by, he says, check the gas, man. In my stories, the horse, the animals talk, so just bear with me. He says, check the gas. So the guy kind of freaks out, and he looks up on a hill and sees an old farmhouse. Well, he runs as hard as he can up to the top of the hill and knocks on the door, and old farmer in overalls, he comes to the door, and he says, can I help you, son? And he said, yes, sir. He said, my car quit on the side of the road, and he said, I was looking under the hood, and he said, the craziest thing happened. He said, a horse came by and talked to me. And the old farmer said, well, what did he say? He said, check the gas. And the old farmer said, did the horse have floppy ears? And the guy said, yeah. He says, well, don't pay any attention to the horse. He doesn't know the first thing about cars. <laughs> now, folks, I said that to say this. We've got an administration in office that doesn't know the first thing about what's going on in the real world. We've talked today about jobs. I see many of you out here today, Dyer County and Dyersburg, it's very important to Stephen Fincher living in Frog Jump, not far away. We, uh, we do our taxes in Dyersburg. I buy trucks from Tim Castello. I buy uh, things for my home at Riggs, uh, John Deere equipment over by the interstate. What happens in Dyer County connects all of us in Crockett County and Lake County and Tipton County. We're all connected. We're all a team here. If we want to get our economy moving, we need to start placing job-creating policy in Washington, not job-killing policy in Washington. If we want to get our economy moving, we're a right-to-work state. As uh, uh, Mike McWhorter said a few minutes ago, we don't have a state income tax. We have a great workforce. But until, until we stop punishing the job creators in this country, and start, start rewarding them with cutting taxes, less regulation, less bureaucracy, less government, we're not going to get out of this recession, folks. I don't care what you do. We need a salesman for this district. We need somebody that's going to go to bat and going to tell people what we have to offer from the port in Lake County. I've been all over it to the mega site in Haywood County. I've been on every acre of it. We have so much to offer. But until we get a change in the administration in Washington, D.C., double talk's not going to work, folks. Saying one thing and doing another in Washington, we see where it's getting us. More debt, more bureaucracy. Now the government thinks they can take over health care? Please. They can't run Fannie or Freddie or the post office, and now they're going to run health care? $500 billion in new taxes? $500 billion in Medicare cuts? I don't think so. I get emotional about this because I go home at night. I'm not a career politician. I'm for term limits. We've decided that if, if when we win, we're going to serve 12 years and come back home because we desperately need term limits in this country. I look at my children every night when I go home, 14, 11, and 7, and I look in their eyes, and if they knew the debt they had to pay, they'd be on a plane to another country if they could grasp what is going on in this country. So as we move forward, this is a very, very important election. You're going to see a shakeup this November, and the Republicans better get it right. We better go to bat for the working man, for the people that are out creating the jobs and working and putting people to work. That's what's important. Jobs, jobs, jobs. I hear it all over. This morning we were in Dresden, had 70 people show up at 7 o'clock in the morning. People are concerned with the country, folks. So I'm going to go to work for you this, this January when we're elected. We're going to stand up and we're going to say enough's enough. Let's get, look back at what Ronald Reagan did. Let's cut taxes, cut depreciation schedules, cut regulation, stop expanding the role of government. Let's put it back in the private sector's hands and move on with the better things in this country. So God bless you. You pray for our family. Uh, this is a very important uh, to all of us. My wife, you pray for her especially. Uh, her skin is not already as tough as mine. We've been married 19 years old. She's a sweetheart. And our family, as we move forward, 
And I can tell you this, I'm going to work with every ounce of energy I have for Dyer County, for Crockett, for all the 19 counties to bring jobs here. But I can tell you one thing for sure. My first vote will be against Speaker Pelosi as Speaker of the House. I can promise you that. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me today.